So it will be an interesting one. They both want that shot. This could go either way. This top four, honestly, yep. but we'll see, man. Here we go, guys. Loser semis, Axe versus Wizzy. Let's get it. Indeed, yep. going into game one on Battlefield, the classic starter stage. See, and that's the good thing now with, like, you know, Axe fighting or Captain Falcon is that if he does those cross-up nares, he can immediately jump up air, and he doesn't have to worry about getting shine out of shield, you know, right. things like that. And Falcons, especially when they're near the ledge, they want to roll. Ooh, what wow. a tech, but a little bit too low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that hurt box from Falcon is huge when he will be. So. Gigantic, yeah. yeah. So unfortunate there for Wizzy. Okay, very Good nice slide off. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah those cross-up nares. Falcon, especially out of out of pretty much all the top characters, Falcon is very weak out of shield behind him specifically. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, nice pullback right there from Wizzy. Okay, once again. Oh, see, that's the thing that Wizzy has to be accounting for is that Pikachu on his recovery, Ooh. if he goes straight away onto the stage or the platform, he has minimal lag. But right. if uh, Axe ends up up being straight downwards, then he has a whole bunch of lag because he right, stays right. crouching. So yeah, 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 it has to be mindful of that. Yeah, great start from Axe. Able to convert a couple of quick kills here. And down throw. Not able to get the up air. Reverse up air will not quite do it. Let's see if Wizzy can finish the edge guard. Not quite. Okay, that time he does get it. Yeah, Pikachu can actually be a very difficult character to edge guard sometimes. Obviously, there's a lot of angles to contend with. It's a very quick recovery, oh, but if okay. you're ready for it, you can definitely make him make him pay for it. Ooh, looked like Axe wanted to try to get a down smash there, because that's one of Pikachu's main starters, and oh my god, not the best DI right there. Right. Possibly thought he was going to get like a last second up air yeah. to see if he could get the knee after, but yeah, Wizzy just mixed it up, went for the knee straight away. Nice stuff from Wizzy, and evening the game out real quick. Wow, that was actually amazing by Axe. Are, are, are ready? in prime position right there to get the slide off when he got up throwed. Mm -hmm. yep. Because Falcon, when he down throws Pikachu, even at low percent, you could just DI down and away, and then it ends up going into a tech chase instead of a follow-up. Right, so. right. Yeah. And this up throw again on the plat. Tries to go for the up air follow-up. Wizzy ready with the shield. Got a grab of his own now. Yep. Ooh, off stage, and yeah. Tries for a fade back there. Axe ready for it. He's going to maintain this stock lead into the last stock, but Wizzy has definitely brought this game back in a big way. Nice soft knee into up air there. Okay. Ooh, could have just went for the knee straight away, but yeah. I see why, because he was already on the ground, and most likely Ooh. Axe would have just crouch canceled the knee and just slid off to the other right, side of the right. stage. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah could have potentially gone for maybe a down air to knee as well, but Axe had a lot of room to maybe DI out of that, so Wizzy. Always staying as optimal as possible with his decision making. Yep. Wow, nice fade back right Ooh. there. Okay, going for the double up air, just keeping it real safe, oh, and yeah, he and couldn't make it a little bit yeah. too low. And good stuff to Wizzy, man. See, and that's the thing, right? In this matchup, the throws are so important once Falcon gets them. Right. Because then you could go for like, you know, down throws at very low percent into tech chases, and then when they're like at mid percent, then you start going for up throws, up airs, things like that. Yeah, especially yeah. off stage like that, you get a couple up airs, and Pikachu is in a terrible spot. Terrible. Because then if he lands like right on stage, then Falcon could just jump in either knee or Stomp, down air. Yeah. yeah. He's got some options there. So great comeback from Wizzy. Again, that was a four stock to two in Axe's favor at the beginning of that game one. And Wizzy brought it all the way back, manages to take game one. But FD, one of the strongest counter picks by far in this matchup because of this that we're seeing right here, the up throw, the chain grabs, just the punishes that Pikachu has on these. It's very difficult for Falcon to get out. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a tail spike. Wow. Ooh, where are you going? And then that was so smart, too, that he grabbed the ledge. Because let's say Wizzy just landed barely on the stage. Axe could have just up aired him, and he goes off stage. He still would have had time to punish, yeah. Really smart from Axe. Okay. Ooh, Ooh Axe the conversions. Into the grab. This will be a chain grab, a lot Nair of damage. Into up air, yeah. And, okay, great tech from Wizzy. Ooh. But a re grab from Axe. Where are you going, sir? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and this, honestly, among the the characters we commonly see in tournaments, this is one of the most one-sided counterpicks in the <laughs> yeah. game. Pikachu 
actually destroys Falcon on FD. Yeah, it's really bad. Look at this. Oh, oh man, he can just jump. barely. Yeah, that was almost it. <laughs> at 10%. <laughs> he was about to go That's down. how bad it is. Almost died at 10. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. See, and that's the thing, right? It, like, even at low percent. Yeah, there goes the up air once he grabs and, ledge. Yeah. Yeah, there's just not anywhere for Falcon to get out. Yep. No escape. Ooh, that angle, though. Well, I like that he went for the forward tilt when he got on stage, because forward tilt actually has a good amount of priority, so. Yeah. Really just... smart by Wizzy going for the knee there, too, mm -hmm. knowing he had just enough hit stun off that down tilt to convert into the knee. Most Falcons would have gone for the up air, and the up air wouldn't have killed yet. Wow. wow. Yeah, no DI right there in the up smash. Pikachu's right. up smash being so damn strong. Yeah. The strongest up smash in the game. Yeah, That's crazy. Know. Okay. Yeah, Wizzy's trying to get like these setups with these like double jump bat like late back airs into grab, but yeah, Axe is just not having it. Yeah. There goes Ooh. the tech chase at low okay. percent from down throw. Not the best DI from Axe, but still able to recover. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes the chain grab once again. Yeah. This is rough, man, for Falcon. This yep. There's nothing he can really do. Yeah, he really can really do. A yeah. lot of damage. Oh, oh the edge okay. cancel from Axe. A little fake out. See ya. Yep. Oh, he didn't get the strong hit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you saw that? Wow, the turnaround yeah, the... edge grab. Oh, okay, Axe. Right. Wow. It's... Axe looking comfortable and evening the set at one apiece. Loser semis once again. Winner of this will fight TSM Leffen in Losers Finals. Both of these guys hungry for that shot at Leffen. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Was he, what stage would he counter pick? I, it, I feel like it's either Stadium or Yoshi's. Yeah. Unless he wants like more breathing room so he'll go to Dreamland, you know, because he'll survive for a too. long time. Yeah. Wizzy definitely one of those rare Falcons that really likes Dreamland. Obviously, he struck to Dreamland against HBox, which is yeah. almost unheard of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. How do you start on Dreamland versus HBox? But hey, yeah, that's he, uh, that's Falcon versus Jigs. You know, he'll yeah. live for a long time, and right. he could still KO Jigglypuff with those knees yeah. at relatively low percent. So. Yeah, and Falcon yeah. likes that room to work with for mm -hmm. sure. So we'll see. But it looks like he might be picking Yoshi's. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll be getting some very early kills on this stage. Yeah, this is definitely like Pikachu's like weakest stage. Even though Axe is amazing on the stage and right. has a lot of platform tricks. Uh huh. But let's see how this turns out. Ooh, okay, really good mash right there from Axe. Yeah, gets out in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, very nice going. Oh, okay, just went straight for the, for the knee. knee. It's surprising. Maybe, maybe he was trying to read the double jump and thought it would come out a little late or something like that. Yeah, but odd that's choice. That's yeah, that's really odd, especially from Wizzy's side, because you know he's all about just you know pe keeping it simple and being really efficient, like yeah, just going for the up air, up air, all right. right you almost stage. never see him go for the knee unless it's a guaranteed knee. Yeah. So that was an odd choice for sure. Nice start for oh Axe, but God, what a tech chase! The tech chase into the <laughs> knee. That's going to be a quick stock. Ooh, okay, very nice by Axe. Just going for the grab instead of going for an attack. Right. Ooh. See ya. Yep. No tech from Wizzy. Not ready for that edge guard. Axe off to a hot start in game three. Oh, see, I like this movement from Axe because he's doing like a lot of like full hop and then landing with like an aerial, like his up air. Right. And then you could immediately just like get out of the way. Kind of like how Falcon uh, Marf does those like late fares on your shield and then he can leave the situation before he gets shield grab. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, Pikachu has that similar thing versus Falcon. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets that knee and that'll do it. Again, that's the benefit of this stage for Wizzy is those knees would not kill on any other stage. But on Yoshi's, it'll do it. Yep. There he goes, just opting Ooh. for the uppers. Ooh, didn't know that he was going to go that way. He could have continued it. Right. Oh, the reverse bear. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you Ooh, go. Oh, yeah. Knee, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good combo for Falcon against Pika, especially on this stage. Once again, he's going to get those quick kills. And again, Wizzy is so good at keeping his composure when he's down in stocks. He really doesn't let it bother him whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, man, he's getting so many hits now because Axe is being a little bit too aggressive, not as patient again, right yeah. there. Like, in those final stocks, he was kind of just rushing in a little bit too much. And, yeah. you know, Wizzy has that play style where he will make you commit. He'll get right. close, and then he'll just leave the situation with his amazing dash dance and do a lot of, like, full hop late bears, mm -hmm. things like that. And he was just stuffing them out over and over and over again, those last yeah. two stocks. So good stuff to Wizzy. Yeah. And that's kind of the nature of this matchup. Pikachu obviously has a lot of stuff going for him against Falcon, especially the edge guarding, the punishes. But 
in the neutral, Falcon generally has the advantage, and if Wizzy can keep his neutral safe and prevent Axe from being able to get in, it doesn't really matter if Wizzy goes down a stock or two because he knows yeah. a quick knee and he's right back in it and able to end up two-stocking Axe there. All right, so let's see. Will we go to FOD? Yep, we are. There it is. All right. Okay. <laughs> the the needs an immediate down smash. Classic. Yep. Okay. Yep, DI away. Yeah. Oh, the double jump is gone, but mm -hmm. he's good. Ooh, try to get the ledge cancel. Oh, I mean, platform cancel. Yep. Okay. Ooh, see? Like, he's just baiting him out. He's using the entire stage. He's like, right. yeah, I know. Eventually, you're going to come in with, like, a short hop. Ooh. Oh. Almost gets the dash attack edge guard. Good idea for Max, but great fade back from Wizzy. Okay, wow, what good attack. tech. <laughs> <laughs> no reaction. That catches so many people off guard. Yeah. Because you're waiting to like tech something, right? right and then right. they're just like, <laughs> Just a little, <laughs> little pat. Oh, missed his dash, unfortunate. Okay. Yep. Ooh, he moving. Yeah, he really is. Both of these guys playing so well today. Oh, yeah. I see the edge guard. Oh, oh okay. nice. Yeah, it's a little bit Wizzy. too low. Yeah, and good timing from Wizzy. He was ready to punish if Axe did get on stage with the up E, but he also had the edge hook. Wow, so smart from Wizzy to leave that situation. He's like, oh, he's going to come down with an up air on my shield? Yeah, I'm just going to roll out of the way because I can't shield grab this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, up throw, up air. Yeah, that's really all he can get with good DI. So. Right. Ooh, oh. he possibly could have got the knee there, but it looks like yeah. the platform messed him up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the tomahawk. Okay. Oh, Axe Ooh, not able okay. to follow that directly. Great tech from Wizzy. Yeah. Surprising that Axe didn't go for, like, after the first nair, go for, like, a forward tilt. The forward right. tilt could have connected. Okay. Back air. Oh! Wow! What aggression. Nair. Yeah, great stuff from Axe. Ooh. Wow! And the sneakiest of edge hogs. I said, that ledge is mine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky, sneaky <laughs> from Axe. Right. And that's the thing, right? Because Axe could do these cross-ups, right? Where he can uh, land behind him after those nares and then go for a down smash. And it could possibly shield stab. Yeah. And a lot of the times in those situations, mm -hmm. Falcon's looking to jump out of shield as well. And that yeah. down smash can catch that also. So Yeah. Okay. Oh, Wizzy is having such a hard time here, especially dealing with these constant up airs. Right. Just being on Ooh. constant knockdown and then dealing wow. with these Axe nares. really ready for these trades. Ooh. What a conversion off a trade. Oh. oh! And then that edge guard was so good because then he would have got popped up yeah. and then he could go for the tail spike yeah. after getting hit with the thunder. He basically yeah. made that 100% option coverage yeah. with that perfectly spaced thunder. Ooh. But the knee, was he not out of it yet in this yeah. game? Axe got to be a little careful. Oh, yeah, low percent. Oh. Yeah, could go for it. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay, yeah. Good DI from Wizzy. Good recovery. Oh, it okay. goes for the knee. See what he follows up with. Very nice, yeah. Wizzy tried to trick him where he pretended like he was going to go on ledge to see if he would recover on the platform, but right. Axe didn't oh. bite. And that time Wizzy gets a knee, so all of a sudden Wizzy's got a chance to finish the set right here. Oh, oh but. yeah, that was so smart for Max because Wizzy does that type of recovery a lot where he'll use the second jump and then kind of just like float down to the ledge thinking you're not going to yeah. do anything. So that was a good catch there yeah. by Axe. No, a lot of people do that in general. Is just use their double jump early, and then they're just like, well, I don't have to up be here. I can just grab ledge. Yeah, but you, you, you're still vulnerable while you're falling to the ledge <laughs> there. It's not, you don't got any invincibility there. You got to be careful. But we got a game five now. Again, this is Wizzy versus Tempo Axe, and the winner fights TSM Leffen in Losers Final. Oof, and both of these players could definitely, like, give Leffen like a run for his money. So. Yeah. Again, they've both done it. They haven't done it often. They both have a very low winning ratio against Leffen, but they have done it before. Yes. So they both know they're hungry for that chance to do it again, especially against Gamal Leffen, which typically is a different beast. Yeah. He's, he definitely steps it up at, at Gamal in general. Of course, his first melee tourney of the year, really. Wizzy's first melee tourney of the year, really. And he's done very well so far. Let's see if he can try to close it out against the likes of Axe. Axe having a great year of his own. Yeah. After a little bit of a slump in 2018. Yeah, very consistent this year. He's definitely yeah. stepped it back up. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Last game on Stadium. Let's see who will advance to fight Leffen. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. What a conversion right there after the up air into the immediate regrab. Yeah. Uh, now that, you know, Wizzy could go back to his original game plan. Right. Where he can just be going for a, He has all the breathing room now to go for, like, these fadeaways. But right. Axe is doing an amazing job just keeping up this constant aggression. Wow. He's staying on him the whole time. He's not giving Wizzy any breathing room, which is what Wizzy picked this stage for. He wanted some breathing room. Yep. But Axe is not giving it to him. Yeah, because he he knows that that's Wizzy's main Ooh. game plan. Yeah, you can't avoid that. The Even if you go on charged. stage. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a lot you can do about that. Exactly. Great stuff from Axe. All right. Wow, yeah, he, he's just overwhelming him, and it's very hard because once you have Wizzy shielding, and he likes to shield a lot, yeah, yeah, he, he's basically stuck, and he's just, like, crossing him up, going for all these up airs, constant knockdowns. So. Right. Ooh, Ooh it's so close. Knee, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's see, the knee. Yep, just yeah. up there, knee. Very reliable yep. against Pikachu at those higher percents. Yeah. All right. Touch. Gets all caught right, by a couple right. of the Thunder Jolts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you want if you're Wizzy. Yeah, you're taking all this damage. Now you should have waited, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, almost. Oh, oh he actually could have gotten a down air into grab. He could have gotten a big punish there, but yeah. opts to just get out of there. Mm -hmm. Kind of respect the decision. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just got to be a little bit more patient here. Yeah, Axe is not playing any games. Almost got that tail spike kill. If he DI's it, okay, very nice that he DI'd straight up. Because if yeah. he would have DI'd left or right, he would have got up smashed. Yep. Ooh, yeah, can't get anything, uh, any down throw tech chase near the ledge. Okay, that Nair trade is going to work out for Axe. Should be the stock. Okay. Yep. There it is. Once again, that forward smash charge. Almost yep. nothing Falcon can do about it. And Axe with the stock lead, but hey, man. Axe has had stock leads in many of these games that Wizzy has still ended up winning. So. Yeah, exactly. It's Especially the over. first game. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing that Falcon gets shield stat very easily, especially when he's on the platform and those up airs, you know, right. shield stat pretty well. Ooh, what a air, uh, wave land off the platform from Wizzy. Okay. Oh, surprising not going for the up throws there. He was like at the right percent to just go for the up throw knee. Right. Odd decision. Could have even been a flub, but he does get that raw knee. Nicely done from Wizzy, yeah. evening the stock counts back up. Game five here in Tech Loser's Chase. Semis. One of these guys will be eliminated. Wow, it's crazy how fast, like, this uh, look at all this percent that Axe has to do, except for that setup right there. Yeah. Amazing job, but Wizzy really could done. tie this up really easily. Yeah. Yeah, so let's see what happens. Oh, very dangerous spot. Got to get away from the ledge. Oh, man, Axe building so much damage on this last stock of Wizzy's. Oh, Wizzy yeah. doing a risky jump. Yeah, doesn't want to fight Axe near the ledge. Doesn't want to get back throws into shenanigans. Amazing the dash attack. Oh, wow, he goes for the barely smash. saves him. Oh, Not yeah. The right spot. Wizzy, Wizzy trying to trick him again, thinking he's going to go to ledge. Let's see. Okay. Yep, barely any lag if you go straight. Uh -huh. oh, oh, no jump. And, okay. Oh, but he wow. gets caught by it. Clips the up B. All right. Wizzy off stage. This could be it. Oh, he caught him again. Yeah, there it is. Axe taking it over Wizzy 3 to 2 in loser's semis here at Gommel 2019. Oh, wow. wow. Another game five win for Axe. Yeah, man. This guy is clutch. Totally, man. Pikachu's a damn good character, man. I've always oh, yeah. said it, man.